it's my privilege to be here, but uh, there was a time I was at the place and they mentioned all the credentials. They were expecting to see an old man. <laughs> they gave me this young man. To start with, uh, it's good that I'm here to also represent the African touch. I've been here, I've seen so many colors. Now I'm also here as a black color. The lady asked a question on uh, South Africa. Madam, you asked a question on South Africa World Cup. You were giving an answer, but I also want to tell you that as a result of that World Cup, Vuvuzela is now a penetration for sports activities. So it's also part of the culture that has now been improved into business. There was a time I do a lot of visiting to some universities. I was in Guangzhou, South China University. And there was this impression about how the Chinese name their children. It looks very funny when other colleagues want to make fun out of it. And I told them, you only have to trust because we belong to a body called Institute for Cultural Diplomacy. You only have to trust, you don't challenge. According to them, when a child is born, you only throw a stone, and the noise is what they name after. <laughs> I hope you get what I said. When a child is born, you only get a stone, and you throw the stone. And then when the noise of the stone makes king, king, can, then that's the name, king, king, can. You throw it, it makes yin tankan, then it's called yin tankan. And the, my colleagues want to make noise out of this. I said, no, don't make noise. This is their culture. Far back in school, so many years, I was taught that culture is a way of life of people. They have been here, they kept mentioning politicians, politics, politics. I'm here as a politician. I belong to the government of Ghana. So to put it right, you need a good politicians to govern. A lot of the problems are so oh, politics, politics, then they just end there. But politics goes beyond the problems they keep saying. I wouldn't want to waste time because it, it appears time is already gone and you are Tired, but I will touch on two key areas. The body is to promote international peace. And we, when I say we, we in Ghana, and for that matter, Africa, we have some few challenges. That is about a research fund. We put up a research fund to make sure we get more influence from the Commonwealth to support a lot of our problems. At times, it's very difficult. It was today that I got to know that it's because of data. University of Ghana, a lot of the universities don't have that data. And now it is my privilege, and then I'm happy that when I go, I will make sure I work on it to make sure we also get the needed support back in Africa. Then, there was another issue that came out. With the university that I am, I'm in charge of university collaborations. It must be noted here that we have been trying to get a lot of universities from Europe a lot of the universities that comes on our way are what we call the mushroom universities. 
mushrooms in the sense that they are not recognized by NARIC. And our National Accreditation Board find it very difficult to affiliate with them. Bodies like ICD and ADAP are now trying to work in a way that we get accredited universities to validate a lot of programs back home. I was in Czech Republic Prague last two months with Bona University to see how we can develop the solar programs. So these are the things that uh, we're looking for in Ghana. Then, if I say I will go, I will go on more and more with the practical situations. But I hope to end here. If there are other questions, I will be pleased to answer them, especially for Africa territory. Any questions? Yes, we're talking of both the professionals and then the degree programs. Yes, as uh, I said earlier on, a lot of them, when they come, they don't have the NARIC recognition. So they find it very difficult for us to get the body that governs and controls them. And then the students, we go and they pay the pounds, sterling, a lot of money, and then just for them to be given the certificates, and then they realize that they are not accredited. So what we started doing now as a government official, we make sure before the university comes, we do the checks. You write to the National Accreditation Board, and then we do the checks, and then find out that uh, you have the right to issue certificates.